Okay, hello, it's Mayo Chef, and today we're going to be making some winterberry sorbet. I thought it'd be nice to show you how to make this in game before showing you in real life, so we can see how they compare. Now, sometimes I understand that you may not have the ingredients yourself, or even the recipe, so let's go find them. First of all, we need to get the recipe, so off the bit of frost frontier we go. Now, one of the heart vendors, Farmer Samuba at Dragon's Teeth Hot Springs, sells the recipe, so let's go meet her. And I thought it was appropriate to be almost topless as I ran through this really warm and sunny area. Now, Farmer Samuba has been a lazy little quaggan, and she's not offering to help me until I clean up her pond. So I'm just going to skip all this mumbo jumbo and get on to the recipe. So as you can see, Samuba is holding a nice stash of winterberry goods and we're going to buy the recipe. She also offers to sell her own homemade winterberry sorbet, so maybe we'll buy that to see how they compare. Now for this recipe, we will need some winterberries, a bowl of ice cream base, a glacial shard and a lemon. Now, a bowl of ice cream base is a discovery recipe, so that's why you can't find it here. But let me pull up the wiki so we can see what we need for that. Some buttermilk, vanilla beans, sugar, and an egg. And before we go and get those ingredients, we should probably go harvest some of those winterberries. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know the winterberry farm, so I'm just going to fast forward that. So now we have our winterberries, it's time to go and find the vanilla beans for the ice cream base. Now, from a quick Google, we can see that vanilla beans grow in tropical climates in places like Mexico. So how about we go to Mount Maelstrom? And Google also says that the vanilla plant grows up trees like a vine, and then you harvest the pods that contain the beans. I guess this is a different species of vanilla in Guild Wars 2, because they just grow as a little herb bush here. Wow, doesn't this area look so tropical? Oh look, some verdant herbs. Let's pray that the gods of RNG are in our favour. Okay, I guess not. Let's continue searching. Wait, what's this? Some mature herbs? Not that one. And if by magic we got vanilla beans, and not just one, but five, this must be my lucky day. Now the next ingredient for the ice cream base is an egg, and you can get these from the boxes that the feeders drop. So I've got my Sentinel Anomaly, Princess and Mordry. So let's go feed them and open the bags. And oh my, we got an egg. And lastly, we need a lemon, and you can get this from a variety of vendors, but I'm going to use Researcher Harappa at Veloxium Passage in Metrica Province. And that concludes our hunt for the ingredients in the wild. Well, not quite. I missed out the glacial shard, but I don't want to go farm that. And now let's head over to Lion's Arch to get the last couple of ingredients from the vendor. Now let's start with making the bowl of ice cream base. Now wasn't that easy. And finally we make the winterberry sorbet. So, let's go see how this compares with Samuba sorbet. Yeah. I feel alive. Okay, let's go make it in the kitchen. Right, so here we have 100 grams of caster sugar, 400 ml of buttermilk. For those of you who don't know what buttermilk is, it tastes like slightly sour milk, so to get the same effect, you can add two tablespoons of lemon juice to regular milk. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now the Guild Wars recipe asks for vanilla beans. I don't have that, but if you have the pods, what you can do is add them to the milk and boil the mixture. The vanilla then infuses with the milk and you'll have vanilla tasting milk. Next one egg yolk, the juice of one lemon and 200 grams of winterberries. Now winterberries do exist and they grow on holly bushes in North America. However they're poisonous and I live in the UK so I'm just going to use cranberries as they're in season in the autumn slash early winter. Mine are frozen but you can use fresh, it doesn't make a difference. So to start what you're going to want to do is add the buttermilk to the sugar along with one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one egg yolk. For those of you who don't know, an easy but maybe a disgusting way to separate the yolk from the white is to let the white flow through your fingers. Mmm, 
Excellent. Now what I should have done here is use a whisk to get lots of air into the mixture and that would make for a creamier sorbet. I was lazy and just used a teaspoon because I wanted to save on the washing up. You want to mix until you don't have those traces of yolk on the top and until all the sugar has dissolved. Next you're going to want to take your lemon, cut it in half and juice it. If you're feeling extra cheeky you can add some lemon zest. I however was not in a cheeky mood. And you're going to want to go and add that juice to your cranberries. Turn up the heat so that the cranberries will begin to cook. And trust me, the smoke is not from the pan burning, but it's just steam because I'm cooking with frozen cranberries. And you're going to want to keep on mixing that mixture until the cranberries begin to burst and all that juicy goodness comes out. And as you can see here, there's still a few left to pop, so I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. Now look at that. You can also manually burst your cranberries to speed up the process using your spoon. And once it's pureed to your satisfaction, you're going to want to go ahead and pour that mixture into the buttermilk and mix well. Again, you could use a whisk. Now I maybe should have mentioned this at the start of the video but I was secretly freezing a large bacon tray to put the ice cream in. And you can use an ice cream maker and it's probably going to give better results, but when I found out you had to leave it in the freezer for 24 hours before use, I decided not to. But if you have the patience, then feel free. Then, pour your mixture into the tray, watch out for splashback, and then mix it, or shake it, to make it even. Then, you're going to want to go and chuck it in your freezer for around 2-4 to four hours. Maybe check on it every hour and give it a little mix round to stop ice crystals from forming. And this will give your sorbet a better texture. Of course, I did not do that. I went to go and watch a film and it ran on longer than I expected. So, my sorbet is rock hard. And I boiled some water and placed my ice cream scoop in it. But unfortunately, it's only making scratches on the surface. Mmm. That tasted pretty good though. Let's have another bit. Yeah, that is fit. So anyway, I then decided to microwave it for 30 seconds to melt it a little bit. And now my scoop cuts through it like butter. Unfortunately, I think my scoop has some design flaws because they're quite odd shaped. Now what I'm doing is scraping the mixture off the tray and I'm going to transfer it to a Tupperware container. Oops, a little bit went in my cup. Now, feel free to bash your sorbet with your scoop. Maybe this will make it creamier, I'm not too sure. Okay, so now the sorbet is made, it's time we try to recreate the image that Guild Wars 2 wanted in all its pixelated goodness. Now as my ice cream scoop wasn't giving me good scoops, I decided to use these silicon things that you can poach eggs in. I scooped the mixture into the moulds and put them in the freezer. And press down to make sure you get some nice smooth balls. And look! four have magically appeared. I then placed these into a bowl and it took me a lot of attempts to get it right through melting and refreezing. Here's a quick side by side comparison, theirs is a much richer pink than mine but that's probably because they had actual winterberries. And fun fact, melting and refreezing ice cream can cause bacteria such as listeria to grow. This can cause severe illness. But here goes. Yeah still tastes good. Now I was a bit confused with this recipe because although Guild Wars 2 called it a sorbet, it contained milk. Now sorbet is meant to contain no dairy whatsoever, just fruit and sugar and maybe some water. On the other hand it's not really an ice cream because that involves a lot of dairy and we just use buttermilk. Apparently in the middle there's a thing called sherbet and that seems to fit the bill. We added a little bit of milk and it was definitely fruit based. And now! Here's a sorbet with my own spin on it. Oh wait, is that some bloodstone shards? Is that a teaser for the next video? Check in next time to find out. And feel free to check out the link for the recipe below. Thanks and see you soon.